In this video, we're going to discuss financial sustainability. We're going to discuss whether it's possible to be sustainable and profitable at the same time. We're going to introduce the idea of the triple bottom line. And we're going to discuss how, if possible at all, companies can achieve being sustainable and profitable at the same time. Often, sustainability and profitability are used as synonyms. Uh, if something is sustainable, it lasts, and well, then it has to be profitable, some says. Or, other, in other words, they, they will say that if it's not profitable, it will not be sustainable. But is this enough? Is this enough to really help us understand how to build a thriving economy? This is one of the big questions in, in economics today, because it's so important right now that we achieve environmental sustainability and social sustainability, but at the same time we rely on the companies in the economy to be profitable also over time. So perhaps the right question isn't whether you can be sustainable and profitable at the same time, but how you can make sure that as much as possible of what you do in order to become more sustainable are in alignment with uh, being profitable. In the 1980s, John Elkington, he introduced the triple bottom line. What does that mean, Lars Jakob? Well, the triple bottom line refers to a sort of a form of accounting, if you will. We are used to thinking about the bottom line as being the, the profits of the company, the, the financial uh, dimension of, of performance. But Elkington argued that we needed at least two more performance dimensions. We also needed to take into account the social performance of the company. That means the footprint that they leave on society. And we needed to take into account the environmental footprint, uh, that is, the environmental bottom line. This was captured in the three Ps, people, planet, and profit, which together formed the actual impact of the company on finances, society, and the environment. If we use this framework to understand business, then it's not enough just to be profitable. You also need to serve the society which you are part of and you have to do as little harm on the planet as possible. But if we take Elkington's perspective one step further, we might also consider not only how these three bottom lines look next to each other, but also the interaction between them. That is, how does your social performance and your environmental performance influence your financial performance? Could it perhaps be that systematically companies that do either well or do bad in terms of their social and environmental performance also have either better or worse financial performance than other companies? In recent years there have been research showing that sustainable companies are more profitable than their peers. The question is then how? How to achieve this? Because it's not automatically that when you become sustainable, you also become more profitable. To become more profitable, well, your income has to increase and your costs have to decrease. So the picture is probably slightly more complex. There are probably investments in becoming more sustainable that do not lead to more profitability. And some of those efforts probably can lead to more profits. So one way of thinking about this is how could sustainability and profitability be aligned? Well, if sustainability is going to lead to more profitability, it either has to give higher revenues, lower costs, or in the longer run, a better reputation or lower risk. So a dream scenario then for a business is, well, they do sustainability activities that increase their revenue and decrease their uh, costs. Can we think, think of any examples of that? Well, there is some evidence that in some product and service categories, customers are more loyal to providers of products that they perceive as being more responsible or sustainable. Also, many companies today are, for instance, trying to turn uh, excess resources into new resources and thereby they can reduce the cost of producing their products. In that kind of way, sustainability can lead to more profits, at least in the shorter term. And we also see examples of companies that get a better reputation because they, they do something actively for either society or environment. Uh, a company, for instance, can invest in new products with a lower footprint, uh, in which can, will give them or can give them a better reputation. 
At the same time, we see that companies reduce the risk, for instance, related to, to future climate uh, changes. And we know that investors and banks alike are now taking these kinds of risks into consideration when they choose whether or not to invest and also when they choose whether or not to give a loan to a company, for instance. Financial sustainability requires an interplay then between planet, profit and people. And like we've seen, it is perhaps possible to align sustainability and profitability, but in practice it is very hard to do and it requires a good understanding of what kind of sustainability problems need to be solved, how they can be solved, and importantly, how they can be solved in a way that is not too costly, uh, so that the company uh, maintains its profitability even when becoming more sustainable.